Risk annoying other people. 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 Put your soul into something that might be rejected. This is Mike Something version 2, scene 1, take 3. Suffer the anxiety. Suffer the anxiety. Suffer the anxiety. It comes with composition. Flourish. 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 Get on. 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 Exercise your capacity. Actively try to realize what you care about. Actively try to realize what you care about. Actively try to realize what you care about. Care about and bring it into, into life. life. Risk annoying other people. Put your soul into something that might be rejected. Suffer the anxiety that comes with competition. Get on with the things that are important to you. Exercise your capacities. Actively try to realize what you care about and bring it into life. Make, Make something. something. This video is for the creatively numb, the self-doubters and the unheard. It's also for the makers. We who go from believing we're a creative genius to feeling creatively numb, full of self-doubt and go continuously unheard. I've made quite a good career out of making things for other people, but I'm often sat on the numb side of the creative scales, afraid of making something of my own. I know I'm not alone. So I want to make something we can watch to help us through these creative crises. I'm going to read through my summary of all that I have learned in fighting this, and you're going to help me. I'm going to put you in my seat and we'll do it together. Turning over, sound speed. Ready and make something, anything. Open a new note, type out what you'd like to do today, and you just made a plan. Follow that plan, and you'll have made your day. Draw a picture of a friend from memory to show them how much they mean to you. You'll have made their day. Make something that means so much to you, you'd cry when your mum says she's so proud of you. Make something that inspires you to keep making more of what you made. Make something that didn't exist yesterday, so that it exists tomorrow. Make it today. Give yourself permission. Stop getting in your own way. Find your voice by pursuing what intrigues you. Then keep it to yourself so no one can take it away. Find the source of what stifles your creativity by committing to a therapy that reveals your trauma and blast so much light on it that it combusts and becomes the fuel for your freedom to create as you once did as a child. Find your purpose by figuring out what you enjoy, what you're good at, and how you want to serve the world. It needs serving more than ever. Then set yourself up to succeed by completing insultingly achievable goals. Stick at it and you'll soon be making so much you won't even have a chance to process it. For those of us waiting for the perfect time, an epiphany or the pain to go away, we can only discover what we want to make by doing it. So stop waiting. We're all on our way to the ultimate catastrophe and our pain is our informant. So pick up your creative tool of choice and make a mess. Do a terrible job. Name your first draft, my god awful first something, and don't share it with anyone. It's yours, it was made for you, by you. Now hang it on the ceiling above your bed and wake up every morning to be reminded that you have a voice, comprehend your trauma, and know your purpose. And every time you hear that voice telling you you're not good enough, ask yourself what you're most afraid of, and take the answer as seriously as you would your closest friend. Decide to take yourself seriously and you'll fire up your creative mindset which allows you to express yourself and your view of the world in a way no one else can. Yours. I'm Jack Elliot Hobbs, two L's, two T's and two B's and the objective of my channel is to inspire you to create something. If I've succeeded, then please subscribe to my channel Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend you'd like to inspire too.